Broadcast Network, After Buzz TV. Over 20 million weekly downloads in over 150 countries, and your number one source for after show entertainment. Very good game, TV, the destination for TV superfans, producing after shows for over 300 of your favorite TV shows, interviewing celebrities and showrunners, and bringing you behind the scenes exclusives. All thanks to E Entertainment's Maria Menunos, producer Kevin Undergaro, and internet leader Akamai. Now, let the buzz begin! Let's go ready, I love it. <laughs> Welcome to the GH Reports. <laughs> We're having a good time. I don't know what happened on Hi, that side of the table. But something's going on over there, but we are here. True. Now go to the two shots. Let's forget about that. <laughs> already? Right. Yes, already. Oh, man. Oh, man. Welcome He's to the General Hospital it. After Show here on After Buzz TV, GH Report. We're happy you're here. Of course, I'm one of your hosts, James Law Jr., and we're going to talk about the week that was in Port Charles. And next to me, let me introduce my guest, my guest, my guest host, <laughs> my host, whoever they are. Get it right, James. Okay, <laughs> the one next to me, she is Lucius Lyon's favorite daughter, <laughs> the Lucretia one. Lyon. Yes, I'm his illegitimate white child, and if you can spell my name right, it's L-A-C-R-E-T-I-A-L-Y-O-N, and you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and even Snapchat now. I even put something on there today. <laughs> oh, you did? Okay, look at that. Now, next to her, she's giving us some Shaka Khan, I'm Every Woman Realness, <laughs> with the African earrings that I'm totally in love with. Miss Ladeen Harvey. Hi, guys. You can find me on Twitter at Ladeen underscore Harvey. And, of course, the guy who I'm going to name, James Lodge Jr. Jr. Oh, you are all right. <laughs> because he's on, like, yeah. as many shows as I am these days, yeah. Mr. Frank Moran. Thank you. I've uh, actually filed for the official name change. So I, <laughs> I look forward to starting my new life as James Lodge Jr. Jr. Junior Jr. Not yes. the third, there but there you Junior, go. Junior, Junior, Junior. Junior. No, 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 no third. Just Junior Jr. <laughs> you can follow me on Twitter at Happy Go Jackie. <laughs> yes, we're a lively bunch today. And um, I just want to say a shout-out to Brittany Sarpy. You couldn't make it with us today. Mm. She's not feeling well. She did tweet back to us and say she was really bummed, but we will have her on. Send her all your love and support. We'll have her on at some point when she feels better. We'll bring her back onto the show. I just hope that there's another cat fight when the next time she comes on. So you can talk I, about it? Yes. I love the slaps. <laughs> well, like she a said, real dynasty level one next time. Well, she said, you stupid ass bitch. That's yeah. what I love. <laughs> I love this. Okay, and so of course you can follow us on YouTube and iTunes and anything GH Report and, and Twitter. Just follow us. And you got us a 725 um follow likes on Facebook. And so what I'm giving away today is Rock Pond Walker's uh, walk, Walker's Walk-In's uh, signed picture with that one. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, and Anthony Montgomery's Ooh. Oh! Lady <laughs> <That lit. laughs> just lit up on that one. He was like, hello! Look at that, look at that, look at that. Yeah. You guys so, are best. Yeah. So, no way. Yeah. We're I mean, giving, you already saw it earlier this afternoon. Yes. <laughs> yeah. No, so we're, we're going to give that away later on in the show. It's a trivia question. So be ready to know your trivia because you don't know what I'm going to be asking you guys. So be ready. Mm-hmm. We'll give that away. And actually, another number I want Lady to tell us. If we get to that next number on Facebook, we're going to give something away on Facebook. Ooh. So what number do you think we should get to now? Let's do 913. Like 913. Mm-hmm. 913. There you go. Perfect. So we'll get to nine thirteen. I'll give a pri- I'll give a prize giveaway on the Facebook page. So all you Facebook folks who are not maybe not here in the chat and stuff, you can look on there too. That's my birthday, by the way. Oh, nine thirteen. Oh, yeah. yeah, I like that number. Nine thirteen is a good number. We can we can reach that number. Yes, yes we can. So let's go right into our storylines. And I titled these a little different this week. Mm-hmm. And this one I did. Alexis and Julian are getting married. Let's talk to the family. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they literally had a telling everyone yeah. scene. <laughs> Didn't they? They basically tell you. They basically yeah. went around. Yeah. I mean, Uncle Julian. I'm like, yeah. really? You guys are. <laughs> So what, do you guys think about, so what do you guys think about that? They're going to get married in a couple weeks. Well, well, I mean, I feel like, as we always know on GH, the weddings never go well. So I feel like we're setting this up, especially when oh. we want to do a big church wedding. Yeah. I feel like something's, something's going to go down. Oh, really? I feel like their wedding will probably mm. go smoothly. Maybe, but okay. Okay, Nicholas but. and Hayden. Oh, yeah. okay. Their wedding might be a little bit. Ooh. So you both are on the wedding tip that something's going to go on with somebody's wedding. Right. It's not going to go smoothly. Right. Okay. Well, okay. to me, Alexis in a church, you know, hilarity is already going to ensue. <laughs> yes, I yes. mean, especially with like this extra baby mama, Olivia, in their case. Like, what if someone protests the wedding with their, oh, we don't like breastfeeding? Like, something funny <laughs> to me. that Because with Alexis and Julian, I mean, I'm, we're just done with the mob. Julian is actually out. Yeah, yeah. So I just hope it's nothing to do with that. 
that. But yeah, I mean. Are you sure? Because according to Sonny, boy, no, yeah, how not, many times did he have to tell the say this week? Yeah. You're, you're never out. You're never. <laughs> you're never out. <laughs> never. I don't think Julian gets it. No. <laughs> They love your earrings, Nadine. Yeah, you got a lot of compliments on your hair. And said you have the same birthday as Roger Haworth, who plays Franco. Wow. 913. Virgo season. Mm -hmm. Virgo season. Yes. But yeah, everybody everybody kept making jokes about, you know, wedding at a church. Mm -hmm. The next is not that irreligious in a church. In a church, the whole week people kept saying that. Sometimes you got to step out of your comfort zone. Mm -hmm. Yeah. She I'm said that. Forward to she it. said that. She goes, I, just, I, want, to do I want the real shebang, mm -hmm. she said. And I get, I get it. Like, why not? I feel like you're going to be no. spending that much time trying to set something up. It's not going to go there. It's not <laughs> going to It's not going to happen. We'll find no out, right? Okay, so, yeah, so, okay, so they're talking about this. So they're telling people, and um, basically, if they go, they're inviting everybody, and, and Lucas had, had a great little moment with Julian. <laughs> I love that. And we just need more of those because their father son relationship is actually really Pretty interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I agree. Yeah, I was uh, as I as a tweet, I was excited just to see. I want to see what Lucas's best man speech would be like. All those yeah. sweet jokes at yeah. the, the, the yeah. 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 <laughs> And of course, we love the Davis girls. So they're going to be all there, of course. And we'll talk about Christina a little later. Oh, um, right. um, big revelation. But it's going to be the Davis girls oh. will be there as the maids of honor. Yes. Of course. That should be interesting. Be interesting who actually shows up. Be interesting who comes to the wedding. Hmm. Yeah, because like Ava's invited, but yes. so is Sunny. How's that going to go? <laughs> <laughs> A mob boy right at the wedding. Yep. Yeah, so that's be good. So that's basically what that is. I mean, that's all you were just telling people about the wedding and stuff. Um, and the next one we were talking about, because that's just, there's not much more with that one. Yeah, where's Brad? I with you guys. Where's Brad? Mm -hmm. Um, <laughs> Actually, I believe. I want to make sure I get the person right okay. who said it because they said Perry Chan is filming a movie. Oh, yes. and I think okay. it was Daquan. Let me find okay. it. Okay, because because they basically had a conversation over the phone. I mean, they didn't show him, but it was like they kind of you know I'm gonna be home late or whatever. So so he's filming something. Okay, so Taylor uh, Grant said Perry Chin is doing a movie with Karina Smirnoff from Dancing with the Stars. Oh, oh. so that's why. Hmm. Well, good to know. I didn't I didn't read that. Good to know. Okay. I was like, I knew someone answered that. Yeah. Yeah, like, <laughs> that's good. Okay, so I think I don't think there's anything much more from that. Just yeah, I think it was it's a just, quick little touch. It was a quick little touch. Just, like, they just kind of talked about that. Mm -hmm. The next thing I call is, and you can show picture number A. Mm -hmm. Little Jake <laughs> is out of control. This oh. storyline is out of control. I, I kind of like it, but there he is. There's my man. There's James <laughs> Neighbor. That's right, James. <laughs> Ooh, he was not having it this they week. They finally realized that this little boy needs some help. Yep, they did. Mm -hmm. finally. finally. I mean, it took serial killer Franco, or I'm sorry, you former I mean? serial killer <laughs> Franco to be like, yeah, this, seriously, there's something wrong with this Come kid. Like, look now. at these drawings. Yeah, yeah it, was, it was kind of funny that it is Franco who's the one talking to Sam. Yeah, I, I really yeah. didn't, as much as I love Roger and I actually like Franco, mm -hmm. I'm one of the yeah. few maybe, I didn't like that they had that conversation. Right. It was I'm, a little awkward. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I agree. It was very awkward. It's like with Liz and Jason, I, I actually like that because I love He's like, well, Liz, you were rude to me. Like, <laughs> that was so funny. <laughs> he's like, I was just about to get to that. I just love how Jake's just like, I don't like soccer. I hate soccer. I don't want to go see Cameron play soccer. And it's like, like, ooh. Boy, if you don't get oh, okay. play soccer. Okay, I know. I'll play. And I said to my mother, I'd be slapped. If you, told uh, you don't have a choice. No. <laughs> Although, I don't understand because certainly Frank has talked to Kevin Collins, mm -hmm. showed him the artwork and stuff. Like, yeah. you should showing everybody else but not talking to Liz. Right. Uh, you know, why not, Why? Why hadn't that conversation happened much right. sooner? Well, like, she throws paint at him every time he tries to talk to her <laughs> yeah. just as rude to him. I mean, oh, man. But and I feel like even the time that he tried to, then Liz all of a sudden like, hey, just got flustered it all became about well, Jason. Like, you talked to Sam? You told her about my <laughs> son? Oh, and then it just became about Jason and all that stuff and then she just walked away and it's like, you Stop getting hung up on this whole Jason thing because that's making you distracted from Jake's yeah. problems. Yes. And, and isn't that what happened to Jake in the first place? Is Elizabeth was distracted by yet another uh, man because it was that test to see who was the baby daddy between mm. Nicholas and Lucky. I didn't forget writers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. But yeah, it's cool She's Jake hates right soccer. Now. That's <laughs> actually, you know, Jake hating soccer is actually one of his better qualities. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's why I was like, y'all threw that out? I'm like, I'm a hockey fan, man. <laughs> now, mind you, like I said, I. I always, I, I, I love the actor, and I love, I love how he's kind of played because I mean he was with Helena Castadine for about five years or whatever. So, so you know he's a little kooky. Yeah, something's going on, obviously, and it's starting to come out. When he had that, when he cut his finger on the thing, yeah. I was like, ooh, on the window. Yeah, because all the lying and manipulating and the little play and these things, that's just like his mom. So I get, yeah. but yeah, oh, this cutting that was it, throwing it all. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's like okay, I get that, but this cutting yourself and these drawings, that's just a little too weird, buddy. 
Nikisha Jones is like, if Franklin can tell you something's wrong with your child, then you need to listen. You need to listen. Crazy recognized crazy. That, that's right. And so it was, it was, he was, he's, he's acting out, and he just wants his family. That's all he wants. Yeah, come yeah. on, Frank. Come on, Frank. You only want his family. That's right. Yeah. Mom and dad I, I, together. I mean, come on, guys. I, I, I know f- there hasn't been enough praise for me about <laughs> calling this way back. I called my shot weeks ago, guys. You did. You did call it. <laughs> he said on Twitter. He was all happy. I say, "There's Frank on Twitter." Yeah, <laughs> he was right. Yeah. There he is. Right. He said it here too. I was like, he did. Oh, he so did. Crazy. So yeah. So I mean, he. I mean, it's the thing. He wants his family together. Mm-hmm. So he's the one behind all of this stuff. And and I, I like the relationship between him. He has chemistry with Billy Miller, the the guy James mm-hmm. Mayberry plays. They have chemistry together. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They really do. He listens to him, right? Because because he'd be like, okay, no, you don't talk to your mother that way. You don't. He, he shuts them down. But the one thing, mm-hmm. the scene where she's uh, he's playing with the uh, the the babysitter and but with the silly string. You got it. You got it in my hair. You promised yeah. you wouldn't get it in my hair. Like I don't think silly string is like that. Like oh, messy is the not. hair. Like, yeah. like I got to go. With the I have to go to the upstairs well, bathroom. Yeah. Okay, she got my nerves. <laughs> my girlfriend, it's gonna be okay. It's like you're a babysitter and you can't handle some silly string in yeah, your hair, honey. Right. Maybe you're in the wrong kind so, of work. Yes. <laughs> you're like, lady, tell us about it. You know how yeah. that's right. You know I mean, hair. <laughs> that and babysitter. He chills yeah. both. Basically. I, I, I felt the same. It wasn't that serious. Yeah, well, but, well. I mean, the writers gave her something to do. <laughs> they okay. should have gave her something a little better, but, yeah. I mean, it was there. Act like lines. The, yeah. lines. Act like the silly string is the worst thing that's ever happened to you. <laughs> yeah. okay? And action. Yeah, right, exactly. You know, the black ha- woman's hair, though. Oh, I know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that, that is true. That is true. That part is Nothing true. Nothing could touch it. <laughs> 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 but love, but yes, everybody agrees that yes, they do need. He does need help, obviously. And there's something going on. And the we I mean, the last shots. I mean, he lured down homegirl down the stairs. Oh, I don't. Th- that <laughs> scene was. Come on. Sam needs to get a new come pair of shoes. Oh. <laughs> oh. Falling that, down. Oh. that scene drove me absolutely bonkers. I was so mad that he didn't push her. That would have been so much more interesting and entertaining that he pushed her down the yeah. stairs that she That's just fell for like the hundredth time. Yeah, it's like, yeah, I think it's a little too dark at this point in time. It's so proper. Oh. <laughs> They're all team, take care of your kids. Well, uh, uh, team, oh, team Sam. Why is Team Sam? Okay. Yeah. I, mean, I like Sam. I don't mind Sam. Well, yeah, Sam. but just with the, sta- oh, the stairs. It yeah. was just so dopey. Yeah. So dopey. And yeah. then you cut to Jake's face. And she's falling and she's like, ooh. <laughs> and I was just waiting for her to start choking her at the end. Yeah. But they cut before they just like hold his hand over her mouth, a little hand. <laughs> yeah. The crazy thing is, is that I didn't predict her falling down. That's the thing. Me either. I didn't, yeah, I didn't know that either. Oh, as soon as yeah. as soon as she's opened the door to come down, that's like, uh, see you later. Going see you later. Going see you later. See you later. <laughs> Kelly Monaco's big boobs always propels her down. Like <laughs> it's a real problem. Yeah. Aww. And we love Kelly Monaco, but she's good. She's good at what she does. Um, but so yeah, so that's basically what we found this week. What's going to happen from that? Because she's knocked out. I yeah, I would say that any uh, from now on, Sam should just get that like little uh, mobile chair that's just on the side of the uh, stairs just, and never take stairs again, Sam. Never ever take stairs. Just sit in that little seat and let it carry you up and down. Oh, They're all man. stairs and soaps go together. <laughs> Sam is the clumsiest pi I've ever seen. It's so funny. Sam needs to wear flats because apparently she can't walk in heels. Exactly. I was thinking that. <laughs> yeah, thinking it's not the stairs, it's the heels it's the that heels. she's always falling over in. <sighs> there you go. Yeah, I don't walk in heels for that reason. I'm clumsy, <laughs> okay. too. Okay. But it's just, it was a, it's an interesting turn of events. Just, oh, there's my man. Oh, my God. Oh, sorry. Uh, <laughs> and, um, but anyway. actually, I don't know why Jake decided to run into the basement and hide underneath the stairs. Mm. Why, just go to your room. Right. Hide in your room. Right. I'm going to ride right. hide under the stairs in the basement. Get underneath the stairs. Roach, let's call him that. This picture is destroyed. To me. me too. I'm like, you know, yeah. you know, distracting me. You know, distracting me. Uh, you guys can't see it off, off screen yet. Um, yes, yeah, so let's get to the next storyline though. Because um, <laughs> James is going. I know. I'm like, I just lose again. <laughs> in, a, in less than a month, we'll have Donnell Turner in here. <laughs> oh, I love the creepy. We have James. several insiders. In yes, here. yes. Um, interesting. So, Breastgate. So that continued. <laughs> uh, Breastgate. It yep. continued. That okay. So okay. Where where's the thing I had written down? Um, the headline of the paper said war chest. That was the hilarious oh thing my in my God. life. Oh but her breastfeeding her yes. baby. <laughs> it was like, and then, actually my quote of the week comes from an exchange that happens uh, regarding breastgates. So I'll say that later. <laughs> oh, there was a lot of good quotes yes. this week. But there was one that I picked that I think it was hilarious. The but one about Dante? 
Not that one. That was a good one too. too. (laughs) So basically, Mayor Lomax tried to talk to Dante and say, you know, like uh, if you do this, and I'll uh, I'll continue to fund the Big Brothers or whatever sisters. I just want to know where the writers going with this. Yeah, yeah. Like Mayor Lomax is just there to make Dante look good, and it is working because I'm like, man, she's just worse than him. All right. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) But then I I like the scene where it's uh, Alexis and Olivia talking there at the Mm -hmm. restaurant, and they just look around, and it's all women in that restaurant. (laughs) Like, okay, and they're all just like actively watching and stuff. And then they have the lady come up where they have to just make it seem like it's going to be terrible, even though after the commercial yeah. it turns out great. But she's yeah. like, I need to come and talk to you. And then all of a sudden just turns around and like, it was the greatest <laughs> thing you guys ever done. I really respect that. Like, oh. Everybody and claps. Yes. Oh, yeah. Come on. Everyone claps. Uh, so awkward. <laughs> you know, I'm all for social storylines. Yeah. I am. I just want to, I don't know. It's, I mean, it is. I guess it is an issue. I mean, I don't have any breasts to breastfeed or any of kids right now. But I guess, I mean, it is an issue. But it just seems like. They could have done a little better with the storyline-wise with these yeah. actors. Yes. Yeah, because yeah, I, I like that they're getting them involved, like yeah. Alexis and Olivia. But, yeah, it just kind of seems a l- little bit weird. But yeah. <laughs> it just came out of nowhere. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we love the idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But yeah. it's, I don't know. Yeah, it's just kind of next. Yeah, it's just kind of. Um, <laughs> Let's hope this doesn't get dragged out much more. But it's just funny that she attacked that Mayor Lomax attacked Dante for being like a bad. So he just came digs at him, just give him. I yes. know, and I'm like, oh man, wow. Dante like, may be a lot of things, but he's not a bad son. He no. loves his mommy way too much. I know because she mm-hmm. breastfed him till he was five. Oh, that was five <laughs> years old. I mean, think ah. Frank wrote that and explains oh, everything. He's a healthy everything. person. <laughs> his brain is well. Developed. I'm sure. I'm yeah. sure. <laughs> I'm sure that is. I'm like five. I'm like okay. I'm a, when they can ask for it, sorry, you can't get it. That's how I look at that. When they can say, "Mommy, I want some milk," you need to go into the refrigerator, not my breast. It's a little, a little too old for me. But I know folks that believe in that, and um, they, they like it. So they, they totally they're in, they're into it. They're a lot. They're a lot of, what do they call um. Not helicopter moms. It's another term they use that, that really believe in. You just breastfeed till they're they, they're done. Oof. Wow. And what do you do after that? Because you've got to go see a surgeon. <laughs> Five years of that, oh, come on, mothers out there, you tell me what, what you think about that. Um, but yeah, so that's so that's basically going on. I mean, she's they, they're going to fight it. Apparently, they're going to continue to fight it, and they're not nobody's backing down. But Mayor Lomax hit a whole a low blow. We're going to take out all the city functions we're going to have at Metro Court. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, it's oh, just yeah. like. But I can't see like how that's not going to blow back against her as well. Like right. all Olivia has to do is talk to the press who already just are swarming around her yes. for this whole thing, yes. and just say like, "All right, this is what uh, Mayor Lomax is Mayor Lomax is doing." So I don't see wh- wh- how Mayor Lomax thinks that any of these moves she's making is going to turn out uh, in a good way for right. her. Well, and she did effective. buy the. Oh, sorry. No, go ahead. Oh yeah, um, she did buy the election. So I'm guessing that that's sort of where they're going, and maybe to like expose all this and kind of the character maybe short term. And then maybe Felicia might actually get to be mayor, but who knows? I've forgotten she exists. Yes. But yeah, I think that that's it. Like maybe that's the reason they're not going to the press because you know she's got all these connections. That's how she got the election in the first place. Mm-hmm. Like maybe with Paul and some other stuff, but <clears throat> I don't really see Paul being involved there. Yeah. You Paul, Paul went yeah. downhill. Yeah. Was, he's just yeah. He went from the peak of our yes. like the top mm-hmm. yeah. the topic of our discussion mm-hmm. to. Just Not taking the back it. seat, just yeah. like that. Yeah, just like that. It's kind of weird. So hopefully yeah, some weird. more Paul. Yeah, maybe um, that'll get involved in this storyline. But I do like seeing, for me, because I'm a longtime fan, Sherry Belafonte. She used to be on Hotel back in the <laughs> 80s. So good to see. She looks great. I love a little blonde. Mm-hmm. A little working out. Uh, so it's good to see her on on TV. And again, more blacks. They may not be at the Oscars, but they're on General Hospital. Hey, Chris Rock's at least the host. <laughs> yes. I'm just saying, yeah. uh, General Hospital, there are blacks yeah. all up and yeah. through General Hospital right now. So I think it's kind of cool, and she and she actually she's a good actor. She's doing her she's doing her job, making us not like her. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, that's true. She's, she's doing a good job. Well, they think she's playing played as a caricature, kind of, yeah. yeah. But that's you know, she's a she's a side she character. She hasn't been developed. Quite yeah, she, yeah, yeah, she hasn't so. been developed yet. Yeah. So maybe now because we have a good actress, maybe it will mm-hmm. like really will really get yeah, get it give going. her some more meat. Yes. Yeah, hook yeah. her up with Rick. Oh, oh yeah! Oh yeah! Okay. Yeah, little Max and Rick. Right, right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Like okay. Rick deserves better. He needs Jordan. Mm-hmm. Oh, is that you? Rick, Rick is down with the swirl in my mind, much okay. like that. But okay. yeah, he needs a hot Jordan. Woman like Jordan is taken. You know. Well, there be well, for we'll now. We'll talk, we'll, you know, I mean, well, we see because I mean, he does like Anna too. And Andre does like Anna, so there's who knows, right? Mm-hmm. So yes. <laughs> And don't get me started my courtesy. Don't get started there. <laughs> um, and then, uh, so that's so that's basically just what's going on there. And then you have I call I tell this one because we'll go through this one quickly because a lot of fans are not a fan of the storyline, of course. 
Halifax, Nova Scotia. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, I, I'll, I'll take a little time to say just uh, how awesome it is to see Tristan Rogers. So, yeah, yes. I'm yes. just drag it out. Drag this yes. investigation out as long as you need to. <laughs> yes, seeing them together, of course, is great. But I know I posted a picture that um, Teresa Castillo actually had her baby. Oh, she did? She did. Yeah. She had her baby. And folks, I posted and people were like, well, that's good. I hope she don't come back. I'm like, oh, we're celebrating man. the birth of her baby. Like, oh, I mean, first of all, they don't wow. want her to come back to the show. This is kind of, I felt sad. That's like, sad. That's sad. Oh, yeah, it's called attachment parenting. Attachment parenting, that's what it's called. Thank you, Stormy. Attachment oh. parenting. Um, yeah, so uh, so she had a baby in real life. So right now they're just playing out while she got, they, they got away somehow. The bloody sheet was there, but mm-hmm. like, I thought she couldn't leave the room because she was about to give yeah, birth. Right. Yeah. And, and, well, and then it seemed like the baby came, but then all of a sudden, you, know, you just had this, like, this kind of concerned look on his face, yeah. and then cut to, all right, cut they're, gone. they're gone. They're gone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was so odd how they didn't revisit that in the week. I'm like, yeah, yeah is Sabrina's baby live, dead? What's going on here? Right. I mean, we don't really care about Sabrina in a lot of ways, but I love Carlos, and the fact that yeah. Anna and Robert are involved, we didn't care about the resolution. <laughs> right. I love Robert and Anna. I love, I love them working together. Just like yeah. you said, anything with Tristan Rogers on screen, it just works. Yeah. It just it just it completely works. So we don't know where she is, but they're on, they're right onto the case. I give them they're smart. Yeah, no, no. I mean, and they, I mean, they had a nice little moment. Uh, uh, Sabrina and Carlos just there in the mm-hmm. hotel room, just kind of talking about what they would want if the boy was, a, if the baby was a boy or a girl. Just kind of talking about a little mm-hmm. bit of their backstory as well. Mm-hmm. That was mm-hmm. a nice little moment there mm-hmm. between the two of them. I mean, mm-hmm. considering that how this crazy the storyline is making us. I yes. definitely see the chemistry more um, with. Uh, Sabrina and Carlos than with Michael. Agree. I yes. totally agree. Like, I totally feel like agree. she's such a better actress with Carlos than she is with Michael. I agree. Yeah, and to I be agree. Jeffrey Vincent Parise, I really kind of hope that they keep him. And I really, yeah, if they're going to get rid of Sabrina, I would like them to go off into the sunset. Mm-hmm. But Carlos can come back. I mean, <laughs> young guys can come back. And he's it, a great actor. Because, yeah, mm-hmm. he's just so great. And, yeah, the whole scene with them, it really gave a history to this couple that we hadn't seen in a while. Mm-hmm. And it really showed Carlos has matured because the reason they broke up is he didn't want her to have a job. But then when he's talking about having the baby girl and going into that, even Sabrina was like, oh, really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, I mean, I like him. I like him. I like him. I think he's a he's a dynamic mm-hmm. actor, so right. I really like him. And we have to remember, he's also Anthony Montgomery's friend. friend. He brought yeah. it up last yes. week. That was his buddy. We weren't just saying that. We were like, you like him. We actually yeah, like, like him. we want yeah. him. But I feel him. like Paul's at the end of his rope with, though, yeah. with Carlos. Yes, I mean, he uh, he's just one more step out of line with Carlos, and that's it. It's <laughs> like, I'm yeah. just surprised he hasn't shot him yet. I, I mean, know. Paul's he's, usually like a, you know, he shot Sonny, he killed Sloan, all this. So, like, that know. surprises Paul me that he has power to me. Yeah, that's the thing. Is Carlos, he, he is really, a, you know, a good mobster in the fact that he actually hits his mark. I mean, Duke is dead. It's not like Sean. Right. Yeah. <laughs> right. Mm-hmm. And yes, Sabrina is Juan Santiago's cousin that was established when he actually came on the show i think he came back for an episode yes. or two and so he's he's their cousins so somebody asked that in there like their cousins yeah because it seems like the the dance that uh, paul and anna are making especially when he makes that phone call to anna and just like just kind of uh, looting like well i don't know i guess we have to revisit this if it's really working out for us i'm like oh paul that was lame that was yeah. a lame yeah. come on yeah I know. So, but anyway, so that's basically that's they they're hot on the trail, I guess. Mm-hmm. But now it's again. And I call this one, and I have to say, I did shed a couple of tears. Actually, <laughs> Sunny stands, but denied his baby time supervision. I have to say that the scene with him and Epiphany, I actually cried a little bit. Yes. Yeah, I liked I their that. scene. Yeah, I did. I actually, I really, I really did. And she goes, "You son of a, you stubborn son of a bitch." <laughs> <laughs> I had tears in my eyes. I was like, that was actually a, there was a really great scene. Mm-hmm. Their little banter. Let me show you, I asked him to show you. Or come to my room. So he's like, I'm going to show you the good. I'll show you the goods. She's like, I don't know how I feel about that or whatever. They, <laughs> see, they, 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 they need a name. They need a name like yeah. Sepiphany or something. They need a name. Sepiphany. <laughs> <laughs> they like, like a name. So anyway, how you guys feel about that? Dude, that sounds like a good restaurant. Sepiphany. <laughs> right. I just, what do you guys think about that? What yeah, to know? me, out of all the sunny struggling to walk, I mean, because we all know how I think that's puke worthy. I did like the scene with the Epiphany, though. I thought, because she's so funny, mm-hmm. and Maurice is a comedy guy, too, so they really play mm-hmm. off each other really well. And it's not, oh, God, I'm sunny. I don't like them. I'm a mobster. I'm, I need to be a strong man for Carly. <laughs> like, we don't have that crap with Epiphany, and I like that. Yeah, and she uh, yeah. Th- doesn't uh, put up with mm-hmm. anything. No. So when she started, when she's like, "I'm not going to tell Carly," but like, she just, you know, "What are you? You're an idiot." You're an idiot. Yeah. <laughs> and now I want to tell you, I interviewed Real Andrews on my other show mm-hmm. uh, the other night. He played Marcus Taggart, and him and Maurice are still really good friends. Mm-hmm. And Maurice Bart actually liked one of my tweets, the picture of me and him together. You're lying. No! I was like, "Oh my god." 
Marvel Reese Bernard. We love you. You're lying. No, he, he did. You're lying. You're look lying. Up, look, up, look at my page. It's a picture of me and, Rial, me and Rial together, and Maurice no. liked it. I couldn't believe it. Hashtag Lady Incorrectos. <laughs> Could not believe it. So it's about how great he is. I just want to shout that out. You want to look at that interview? It's great. Oh, I'm gonna see that. Yeah, good look. It's, it's mm-hmm. good. It's really good. He talks about him a lot. Um, but yeah, so Maurice. He talks about. He talks about how Maurice's technique and how he is. He's like the old Don. He's like he's just, he's just this guy that everybody loves. And him and Epiphany, him and Sonia Eddy, who plays Epiphany, they have such great chemistry. Yep. And it's just like, and when she even got mad at him, mm-hmm. yeah, it was just like because he was cute to himself. And yeah. It's like I don't want to tell anybody. She goes, I get the mobster stuff, but your family, right? Wouldn't he be pissed? I mean, like he's yeah. starting to walk. Well, Carly finds out, of course. So no. I was but, so mad. Oh, you like when she, she found out? Yeah, oh, you know, I wanted him to like hold on to that. Uh, you know okay. what I mean? And then when he's ready to fully get out there, then it's like here I am. Yeah. Because yeah. we all know how Carly is, oh, like yeah. like a hound dog. <laughs> yes. So I was a little bit like, oh, why it had to be her? I would have rather it be like I know he showed Max later on, but. Mm. Not Carly. Well, it was kind of funny. They came together because obviously Darby came back. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. It was like a second. porno. It was like a porno. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, well, Take a look at these photos. What do you think of these photos? Yeah. Like, oh, I'm like, like yeah. are we doing porn? I'm it like, just came out of nowhere. That whole yeah. time, like, Darby, where, she, where uh, was she? Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. I mean, even after Morgan was like, oh, I'm, I'm smelly because I've been lifting all this coffee. <laughs> yeah. she, she did not care. She did not care. <laughs> she was thirsty. <laughs> she, was, she was thirsty. I was like, you go, Darby. She's going to get her man. And so they got, they caught her, but she was like, "Hi, Mrs. Corinthos, you look prettier than you did on Facebook." Yeah, yeah. It's like, what? <laughs> Who are you? I'm I like, know. Okay. Yeah, and that to me is like they're because even Carly and Sonny were putting the pieces together, and you know how their detective skills mm-hmm. are. Um, it was just so funny because they're like, "What is with this girl? She knows who we are." It, it, I'm guessing she's going to be tied to the mob somehow, and that's why she's so f- after Morgan because, I mean, Brian Craig is adorable, but Morgan's a train wreck. So there has to be something more to this, right? right? Other than she's just thirsty. Yeah, ugh, and then I'm just so bummed that they're kind of backpedaling with Kiki and Morgan. It's like, oh, I know, hey. I know, I know, oh. I know. It's like that one. And um, also what pisses me off is I feel like it was a redundant scene between Ava and Carly. Oh, God, yeah. Because you already know she doesn't want to give the supervision. It's just like, it's just like I'm coming, I'm going to talk to you. And, I already and she, knew and she you was going to renege. I knew she was going to renege. And right. then, just like Carly's like, so you wasted my time by just yeah. you know, doing That's this long preamble. Yeah. That's how I felt. I wasted 15 minutes of my TV time. Yeah, as much as I love like, Ava and Mora West and I like their sparring, I thought it was a waste of a scene, too. It's like, yeah. okay, so if there's no resolution to this. No. What was the point of that other than to just, I mean, they just keep drilling that Ava bad, Sunny good. And it's like, there really isn't a difference except one of them is cool with Watch being it bad. Now. The not- other <laughs> one Watch keeps it saying now. he's Watch good. <laughs> Wait, no, here's yeah. the thing. No, here's the thing. I felt like it unnecessarily you're yeah. trying to really hammer the point that Ava's bad. Yeah, and that's the what's so annoying is yeah. like in the, the Ava versus Sunny, and this is the reason anybody, Julian, whoever goes up against Sunny, no matter what it is, do you it see is, more hmm? growth in Sunny or Ava? I, I actually, if right now, Sonny has All right, been there better. we go, right yeah. there. <laughs> She's up there. Guys. I will say, right there, <laughs> Sonny. We have it, guys. Yeah, Sonny has grown yeah. a lot. Yeah. But that's the thing, is the humbling and being in the wheelchair has made Sonny more entertaining, mm-hmm. and it's made him step back and not do that little thing he always does where he makes excuses <laughs> and talks about this or that. But Ava is seen as a villain, and that's the difference, is she's seen as a villain. Everyone calls her out. She doesn't care. It's more yeah. entertaining. Yeah, yeah, you know, and yeah. you know, it's. Uh, I mean, Carly says that. Oh, you know, if if Ava if Avery was with us, we would let you see her because that's mm-hmm. what we put the child first. And I think I feel like that's easy to say when you are in the kind of like the lower position there. It's easy to say you would do that. Well, and they so it, wouldn't. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you, think, you think so? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hates Ava. Here's the hates thing. Her. He hates is, her. Carly and Sonny both have both used their own kids with each other against the other one. Oh no, you! I mean, even there was even a time where Jax was legally uh, Morgan's, Morgan's father. father. Mm-hmm. So that's why when they say when Carly says that, I'm like, this is why I love Carly because she at least sells her delusions. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's like. Okay, you can go look up all one. this I on the internet, it. honey. Yeah, you, you, you know, she does. Yeah, yeah no. she does. She's like, I love Carly because she sells the delusion. <laughs> and, and basically, I mean, and, and then basically the other thing was, uh, Sonny told Julia basically, <laughs> bye bye one day. Yeah, well, that's a, yeah. You, 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 you go ahead and get married, but you're not going <laughs> to you know, you're not going to be living for for long. He's like, live your life, sure. Why yeah. not? Mm-hmm. That's what I love to see. All the scenes with Sonny, other than that one, have really like shown growth in his character yeah. in this. And then it's just like, now nah, you're a still a douche, off, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. But he, he was like, Sonny, can you at least, if you can't forgive me, just forget? Like, yeah. I was like, no. come on now. <laughs> the, the, 
that's the craziest question yes. I've ever heard. <laughs> and especially coming uh, talking to Sonny about forgetting. Yeah, yeah. Sonny's all about revenge. Yes. Come on now. Yeah, that's not gonna work. You're gonna forget. Yeah, my favorite line was when Julian started out. I'm standing here with you, man to man. Man to man. Oh, oh, yes. oh. Standing. Way to go, love blow, Julian. <laughs> But yeah, that's the thing is Julian's actually out of the mob trying yes. to be respectful. It's He's like he is actually the, the one that's, that is yeah, in the right right here. Yeah. Not Sonny. <laughs> and this is the thing is all these progress things and then you go and have this scene, Sonny? No. Yeah. No, I mean, at least I'll give it up that, you know, uh, as much as I love Duke and I was sad to see him go, mm-hmm. at least his death is having some ramifications yes. mm-hmm. that nobody's letting it just lay there. Yeah. That's true. His death actually has driven story. Mm-hmm. I mean, for Anna, for everybody, it has driven right. story. Same thing story. with Connie Falconeri. I yeah. thought that the two of their deaths have really, you know, they're still talking about it to That's the true. Day, yeah. That's true. Very true. Okay, so now those were like the main storylines, but now you can show picture beat, everybody. Ooh, wee. Oh, good night. Uh, <laughs> good night, everybody. <laughs> Curtis, Jordan, and TJ. That picture, I'm looking at that gray beard. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to have to take a picture away. James can't concentrate now. I can't <laughs> yeah. So, um, we actually got some clarification on who Curtis is in relation to them. Okay. Yes. That he's the brother of Tommy. Yes, the the, the supposed father yeah, the, of the, TJ. The, the, yeah, because because obviously Sean's the father of yeah. TJ. So, but yes, for now, for now. <laughs> um, so the parent, I know, really can totally yeah. change too. <laughs> but so I love the exchange that because Jordan was like Mama Bear. She was like, okay, protecting. No. Yeah, she was like, hey, wait a minute, and she and then all of a sudden TJ walks in because we're like, there's TJ. So take Quan Richmond's back. He's making out with Molly and now he's with his, his family. Now he's working it out. Um, but I like the exchange between Curtis and it was like it was like two men talking. It was it was very realistic talk. It was kind of fun. So what do you guys think? Yeah, well, and, and uh, he's like he's like, oh, no, I'm sorry, I know you couldn't be there because you were in Boston, you were undercover and stuff. But then you know, Jordan uh, Jordan's like, nah. Mm-hmm. So I feel like there's something else going right. on, yeah, oh, yes. with Curtis. Like, they kind so of who knows? Probably just agreed on that story, yeah. just to hold for right now. But we all know that there's something deeper. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm guessing that it, it, their issue with one another has to do with the undercover work. So I'm kind of curious because yeah, it's obvious that Curtis is uh, okay with uh, you know skating the law. And Jordan, you know, has been known to skate the law herself. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know if it, maybe he was like, uh, maybe he was a little bit of a dirty cop or something. I don't yeah. know uh, what the deal is, but yeah, there's something that they're uh, they're they're kind of keeping hush hush. I guess we're going to find out soon. We're going to find out. Right, I was a little confused when she said, you know, you could just go into the the PCPD and mm-hmm. find out my schedule. And I was like, how you know is that how is that possible? Yeah. So we don't know fully still mm-hmm. what he was or what he is. Like still, I have a feeling he was somebody good too. Mm-hmm. So to speak, undercover like her. Right. Just not. We're not sure. We, yeah. just, we just don't know that. That's the kind of exciting part. Um, someone thinks that Curtis and Valerie should be together. Oh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'd have to. I mean, I haven't really seen them in any scenes together. Yeah, me so I mean, they'd obviously look really hot together. But chemistry, yeah. I don't know. I mean, maybe, yeah. maybe, maybe we'll see. They could test that. I don't yeah. know about that. <laughs> no. But I did like Jordan just going off on him, like yeah. when he when he uh, when she sees him in the uh, in, in the metro in the restaurant, like what? Are you following me? What are you eating the same place <laughs> that I have been eating at? I love his reactions. Like, yeah, okay, yeah, that's what I was doing. Sure. Right, 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 right. <laughs> I mean, but yeah, I wonder. Yeah, I wonder what it's going to be interesting to see. I'm um, like, giving us backstory a little bit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Which is what soaps are supposed to do because these characters are in. So now they're because again in the credits, he's in the credits. Oh yeah, and He'll she's in. Right. Jordan's in the credits too. Yeah. So I mean, like, so that means a half storyline probably. So hopefully that's what it means. Yeah. So yeah, I'm just glad we're getting to see TJ more. I mean, he, you know, he and Molly really need to have more story. But I yes. get they both work a lot. Yeah, but not sex. Yeah. They're not yeah, having no. sex though. Oh no my sex. god! Was like, no. Well, like, what's no, this, this, yeah, so, so funny. They were like, but they were like two sisters, right? Just ooh, totally going back yes. and forth. Caddy, so catty. Ooh, caddy. That's like, ooh, and they're just like, wait, wait, and you know, and so and so, you just go for, just to leave to go to school, right? To leave, and when we're gonna see you again, like, there was so, it was like a two sister thing. I think it was something yeah. funny, two sibling thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and we haven't seen a good silvering rivalry like that where they still love each other, but they yeah. fight since Maxie and Georgie. Oh, yeah, you know, okay, I'm really yeah. glad to see this yeah. again because, I mean, Maxie and Lulu are almost like that, but they're really not sisters, mm-hmm. so they can still do things to one another, but the stuff that sisters won't cross that line, right, at least right. not with Christina and Molly, because while Christina's a little bit of a bad girl, she loves Molly and Sam. I don't think she'd do anything to hurt them. She's mm-hmm. got a little bit of a heart. Mm-hmm. A little bit. Mm-hmm. I guess yeah. so, yeah. So that's what we'll find out more with them. And I titled this one, Professor Parker is a woman. <laughs> yeah. I was well, like, <gasps> oh, oh. 
Whoa. And it was, um, she was Daphne on True Blood. Did you notice yeah, that? Yeah, she was Daphne. Yeah. She was also uh, Bridget on Bold um, and Beautiful. And on Young and the Restless. Young and the Restless. Too, yeah. yeah, so and Ashley, I think her real name was Ashley Jones. Or like, mm-hmm. like that. It's Ashley Jones. Yeah, so she opened the door and she's like, hi. I would have never saw that coming. So it's Christina Bye. Bye bye. Or is Christina <laughs> a lesbian? I mean, like, what's going on? I mean, that's an interesting twist. Well, the thing about my generation and Christina's generation is that most of a uh, most of that generation is really more sexually fluid, is the term mm-hmm. they use. Right. So that was not shocking. I mean, it was shocking to see because you kind of expected it to be a guy, but yeah. in this day and age, it's like, eh. I don't know. Because she said wife. I said I, uh, she said wife, and I was like, oh, okay. I I totally I missed mm-hmm. that mark. Yeah. Oh, well, I mean, it's gay marriage is legal. Yeah, no, it is. So, I, told, I, yeah. I should know that. Yeah. <laughs> um, and I completely just missed the mark. I was like, oh, right. I'm like, yeah. okay. But I did make a statement. I will say it again on camera. I made on earlier this week. Mm. <laughs> we get no, we get no Brad and Luke. I know he's off doing a whatever, but still, they kind of cut out a lot of the gay stuff. Right. But now we're getting a lesbian storyline. And that's how soaps have always been. Something to think about. I know something to think about. I know lesbians are a little easier to take for a lot of people than gay men, so I see that's something that happens. I don't get it. Brad and Lucas are adorable. We need to see more of them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I was just like, okay, but so this, I'm, I'm, I'm curious to see what happens. Maybe with this. it might not yeah. even tap it that much. Maybe not. Hmm. We have to wait to see what happens. Because according to Christina, she never tapped it. <laughs> she says she tried. She yeah. tried. And yeah. It didn't work. So I thought and that she, was the thing. Go ahead. Yeah, and she wouldn't have tried if she didn't think that there was some kind of possibility mm-hmm. it was going to happen. So she was probably getting wow. some sort of vibe, yeah. right? Off the professor. Okay. Yeah. Some folks say they, they. Some people say they feel like they they figured it out, but I'm sorry, I wasn't. I didn't figure it out that easily because yeah. you never know on soaps what they're going to do, what the writing's going to do. Right. No. right. So, and the professor's going to track down your address and show up at your yeah. door if they're not interested. That's you know. Yeah. Come on. So. Yeah. So we see what happens this week, but so that's an interesting little twist. Uh, but it's a great, good storyline to see how Sonny reacts to it. All his little kind of reacts to it. It's mean, a whole new dynamic. It is. Yeah, because so, um, Gabriella mentioned it was so obvious when Alexis was talking to Christina about finding a guy to make her happy, and then the mm. look on um, her face. Yeah, I really thought Lexi played that scene really well because she. I felt like she wanted to tell Alexis something I about know. that, and she didn't. Yeah. yeah. That's crazy. And then, of course, Tracy... Oh, sorry. Lulu changes her mind. We'll go to that one next. Lulu changes her mind. Now she wants it back. I actually feel so bad for Lulu in that last... Because I know it's not going to go well because it's too soon. And no. I'm just like, oh, poor Lulu. Way she, too soon. Way too soon. I agree. Even Maxie soon. tried to talk her out yeah. of it. I mean, it's heart melting. I know. She's <laughs> fighting so hard. But it's like, just breathe for a minute. Mm-hmm. And just and let get, things take its course. Exactly. And they'll get there. You take because mm. you guys they do love each other. Right, because he didn't sign the papers no. just yet. No. Yeah, and the way he was talking to Olivia, mm-hmm. and the way that you know, and Olivia knew Lulu's side of it, you know, because she'd come to her. I really like that because to me, I do think that Dante and Lulu will get back together, and a lot of it has to do with they really just fit. As right. all of this stuff has gone on, they've both thrown everything. All they need to do is just talk it out, slow mm-hmm. it down. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. I agree. <laughs> I agree. Mm-hmm. I'll take that. And then Tracy runs into her ex husband. Who knew Lord Larry Ashton would be in the next room over? Well, smoking whatever. Yeah, yeah that was kind of a surprise. Yeah. Really? I, was like, I knew it was going to be somebody. Yeah, I knew it was oh. going to be somebody. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 No, too, but I didn't know it was going to be him. I thought it was kind of funny. Yeah. It was kind of, we like him. He's a great actor. It was kind of fun to have him come back. And she's trying to get away from all her men. <laughs> yeah, but I'm glad yeah. that she didn't hook up with him. Glad yeah. she yeah. Yeah. Ugh, I was like, all right. Enough with Tracy. She's <laughs> hooking up with like, you know, guys for, yes. you know, like a one night fling. And then. <laughs> yes. Ugh. But she gets the phone call that, uh, and this leads to the next one. Hayden uh, says yes. Hayden said yes. Hayden. The plan oh, is God. working. So I think they married that long, just you know, a little bit of time. I feel so sad <laughs> for Nicholas. I think he loves her actually. Yeah, I think he's he starting to love her. But as much as I love Nicholas and even the evil Nicholas, I want the Britch back for Nicholas because oh, to I me, know. like him and Hayden, at this point, it's just like. I'm cool with her screwing him over because I don't see a future for them. Hmm. They have hot chemistry, but there's just will they or won't they that's just gone on longer than friends. Right. You know who I want? Mm-hmm. I want Hayden and Curtis together. Oh, yeah. That would be hot. That's, that's yeah. a hot That's one. hot Yeah, one. they have chemistry. Yeah. They have chemistry. So, but I, she said yes. Yeah, because I, I, I want to hopefully think that it doesn't end up horrible there for Nicholas and him because yeah. I feel like it. that's all ever, ever since Emily died it's just been Nicholas just been in a successive string of just failed relationships and it's yes. like oh, another another failed relationship for Nicholas that's just getting a little old and tiresome so I feel like the, the way they're setting it up I feel like Hayden does have genuine feelings for Nicholas although she's kind of stuck between you know having her past revealed by mm-hmm. Tracy and then doing and then being in love with Nicholas so I figured there's going to be 
something. Although, I mean, Nicholas, I mean, the way, you know, just, you know, the the Brits just lied about, uh, you know, what happened there yeah. with, uh, so, with Spencer. So, I, who knows? I feel like Nicholas does not forgive uh, any kind of slice against him very well. I'm just excited about all these storylines. Because you remember last yeah. week we were saying that it was a little slow. Yeah, yeah. But now I'm I'm seeing mm-hmm. that he's rising up and <laughs> you rising. Yeah. It. Yeah. <laughs> it is. No, it is. No, it is. I mean, it's very exciting. Um, and the, we talked about it a little bit earlier, and I called this one Kiki Morgan, Paul, and Ava. Basically, Kiki Morgan are working their way back. But Kiki was like, no, I'm not ready for no relationship yet. Yeah. Let's just go on a date. She's going back. He is. But still, she slowed down a little bit. Mm-hmm. But Paul got a little rattled, didn't he? He was mm-hmm. like, what did you do? say about what you do? <laughs> yeah. I was like, what you tell her? What you say? What you tell her? I'm like, wow. <laughs> Yeah, like honestly, that just seemed very odd to me. Right. I mean, <laughs> what are they? Where are they going with Paul? Because in like, yeah, as we were saying, uh, he was like the peak of our storyline. Right. We're super excited, November and December, and ever since the new year, we have it's not so had so Paul in the good storyline. And this whole conversation with Kiki, it's like, what? <laughs> Yeah. It was just something else that they just yeah. insert real quick. I'm just a really good tipper. Yeah. Like, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, I know. All right. Was that $100 I saw on the Yeah, website? $100. Yeah, oh my God. Hey, funny. Paul. <laughs> 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 yeah. And I, I don't know, like we were just talking about that. It was yeah. just like, but like Kiki just basically, yeah. she sits on a lot on the job. Always yeah. just sitting down. Yeah. Yes. All the time. Like, geez, and crap. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
boy, especially after what we're learning about Christina this week, it's like, wow, why is this just taking so long for this to happen? This is, uh, uh, other than just the actor's unavailability, there's really no reason to be dragging out the story this long, I feel like. It's just, it's been so long since we've seen, seen Brad on the show. It's like, oh, all right. I feel like, because uh, uh, Julian and Lucas's relationship, it's really interesting to see like that. I feel like, and I was uh, intrigued by the scenes with Brad and Alexis as they were kind of just mm-hmm. dancing around about what this issue was. Mm-hmm. So I feel like there was like some momentum in, th- in those scenes. I thought, oh, all right, finally we're going to get rolling on this. And then it just it just laid dormant and it's been laying dormant. And it's just driving me crazy, especially if we're going to see Christina is kind of exploring this thing. It's like, mm-hmm. we've got this whole other storyline just been just sitting there for months and months mm-hmm. and months and months. It better be. Yeah, it's not going to be great. It's not, not going to be great. Whatever, oh, like, whatever the revelation, faith. it's not yeah. going to be great. He lost faith in the middle yes. of a sentence. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> he did, he's like, I saw you just leave. Like, mm, yeah, it's yeah. not going to be great. Yeah. No, it's not going to be great. Dang it. Dang it. Yeah. Dang it. Crushed. Crushed. Okay, I, yeah. I, I agree with that. Any, any, any thoughts on that? Yeah, actually, Alexander Q agrees. ER stat, Lucas. I mean, <laughs> but yeah, it's like. It's so funny because yeah, like what I know that some would say actors' availability, but still, right. like just with Rosalie, we're just like leaving things yeah, out. It's she? like, yeah. can't you schedule a little bit better? I mean, right. I know it's daytime, but damn. But I but I also feel like Lucas is. Uh, I mean, he's got so many other connections on the canvas, and all they bring him in is basically he just hangs out in the hospital, and he's just either helping out the uh, Sunny, recommending him another doctor, or he has a couple of scenes with Julian right there. That's it, but it's like, uh, come on, let's do a little bit more with them. We, we, we don't have Patrick Drayton on the canvas, but I know we're bringing in another mm-hmm. doctor, but it's like, all right, fine, bring in another doctor, but you've already got one doctor there that has so many ties to so many yes. characters on the canvas. He's let's see more of them. related to everybody. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yes, I totally agree with that. Now we're going to find, we switch gears, and we're going to find some love in the afternoon. Yeah. Um, this week, I had to... Um, I was going to say Sonny, because you guys know <laughs> that yeah. I love yeah. some Sonny. Yes. You know, he's his able to pull, his strength <laughs> pull through, yes. and I'm proud of him. But this week, I'm going to have to go with Sam. Oh, oh Sam and I'm going to have to go with <laughs> Sam and Jason, um, only because like, I love the fact that Sam is trying to help Jason out. Okay. But she's taking a different route. She mm-hmm. don't want to get her feelings caught up or she I love the fact that she is saying, "You know what? I think you should find somebody else to do this with because I know how I am right mm-hmm. now and I know that I still want you." She's mm-hmm. not going the route that Elizabeth took. I love that Sam has actually said, "You know what? I really want to explore this journey mm-hmm. with you, mm-hmm. but I'm going to have to take a step back." And yeah, that geez. right there is a woman to me. Yeah. Yeah, Sam is yeah. a strong woman. And she doesn't she's not insecure about how right. Jason feels about her and that showed it. She's like, look, you know what? I you saw her out. strength yeah. this week. Yeah, I was like, true. I'm loving yeah. that. I'll give you I'll give you points for that. Yeah. And somebody agrees I Alexander agrees with you. Well you see when when Liz uh, asked Jason when Jason said, Oh yeah, I had it sort of had uh, memories like, mm-hmm. Oh, what was it about? Oh, it was about me and Sam. Mm-hmm. No. Yeah. I know. Right. Right. I'm right. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Not you girl, sorry, like, not, not you. I'm loving it, loving it. Not you bitch, not you. Uh, it was about Sam. Yes. That's what she was saying. Mm-hmm. But going under, uh, if, uh, the teasing yeah. hypnosis with the Kevin Collins, I'm like, yeah. all right, all right. Yes. Kevin, Kevin Collins. Collins. Yes. Kevin yes. Collins. Let's, Let's do it. Again. We'll take any vet at this point with lines. <laughs> Give him lines. We'll take him. Okay, and then, of course, it's time for the your favorite part out there in, in, in uh, GH Report land, the Krisha's <laughs> winner or loser of the week. Well, actually, this week, because they've been losers several weeks in a row, and this week, they all seem to have their heads on straight. It goes to the Falconaries, all three of them. Lulu, (laughs) Olivia, and Dante, this week, finally got their crap together. I mean, and to me, Olivia had been better, because I liked it that her and Alexis are bonding yeah, and you yeah. know there's no more mentions of sweaters nothing weird yes boob gate's a little odd but yeah. it's it's good to have them working together not about Julian just yeah. about you know and Olivia seems into this yeah because she's loud she's Italian we like mm-hmm. that you know she's sort of like our new Lois mm-hmm. but yeah I mean maybe calm the storyline it down mm-hmm. but it's nice to see her in something that and um, with Lulu and Dante I feel like they both kind of snapped out of it like i think that conversation with johnny and just the realization of where lulu had been that's really pushed them more and same thing with dante i think he realized how much lulu loved him and he you know he kind of like whoa you know i slept with valerie i broke up all this so to me they're really actually like whoa we're terrible mm-hmm. people let's do better <laughs> <laughs> it's true 
But yeah, the loser of the week, and I hate to do it all the time, but I mean, who can we pick other than Liz? I mean, I really try to think of it. I mean, the only person worse than Liz this week um, is her son, and I don't pick kids, and Laura Lomax, and I just, I mean, can't really go there. She's more of a recurring character, but to me, Liz just no matter what is thrown at her she's still got those crazy eyes that somehow right. thinks that Jason is going to remember her and love her and I love the way that Billy is playing Jason mm-hmm. where he is literally annoyed every time he right. has to be around her and that's what's so funny to me and why she's still a loser and Franco is actually trying to help I mean I know he kidnapped Aiden or whatever but you don't even know where he is Liz mm-hmm. so you kind of need to get over that <laughs> <laughs> I loved when she told Jason that he doesn't have to knock and then he was like, like no I'm not no I'm not. <laughs> Oh, no. That was my favorite. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, oh, no. Yeah. That was almost my quote of the week, actually. Yeah. He, just, he was like, oh, no. I was like, dang, just shut her down, didn't he? Yeah, and that's what I like is he's shutting her down at every mm-hmm. point, and she still just keeps on, and then is rude to Franco, and I'm like, he's actually the only person who's nice to you at this mm-hmm. point, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Sad. But she doesn't like when people are nice to her. She, Jason pushing, because she is crazy, so Jason pushing her away is only making her want him oh more. Oh, my God. Which we know, some women, that's what happens. <laughs> and men, too. And men, too. Now, so we're going crazy. back to uh, with Lulu and Dante, because yeah. yeah. I knew Lulu made such yeah. a big thing like after it went down with Dante and Valerie. They're mm-hmm. like, she could never be in this oh. place where they made love in this bed. Oh. So I'm like, all right, uh, now, I mean, you guys are trying to hook up, and that's, you're going to be in that apartment. I don't know. Can you go back? Can you live in that apartment again? you got to find a new place to live? Wearing the dress that she told me she was pregnant. Back to the baby, Frank. Yeah. Yes. Back to the baby. Yes. Back to the baby. But that baby didn't take, guys. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, they were back to the baby stuff again. I'm like, oh, not again. Yeah, at least she only said it once this week. Only yeah. uttered the word baby. Because I think mm-hmm. they got that we don't care. Yes, at this point. Like, we're not into the babies. Yeah, projected data about when they're going back to visit the, uh, the doctor about getting that embryo implant. Uh, yes. uh, February, February 14th, guys. Valentine's Day is just oh, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Good night. Good night. <laughs> now it's time for my quote of the week, and I had several, but this one I decided to choose. On Tuesday, it opened up with the paper. It said, mm-hmm. War Chest. And on the back, it said, Zagara Zapped. Mm-hmm. So it's cute little titles. And Epiphany walks out, and Sonny's laughing, and Epiphany says, Two headlines about boobs. <laughs> nah, that was funny. To me. That, was that, was funny. funny. That, that was kind of funny. So that was my quote of the week. I thought it was just kind of cute as she said that. Now we're going to do two. I have one piece of news and gossip. Ooh. After Buzz TV News. And you said we'll show the picture of you guys. Steve Burton and Jonathan Jackson open, are opening a new restaurant called Jack and Jameson Smokehouse, oh. along with restaurateur Richard Shannon. Uh, right now it's under construction. It will serve barbecue re- a bar- it's a barbecue restaurant and a music venue in Franklin, Tennessee. So if you want more information, check out the Twitter feed at twitter.com forward slash Jack Jamesons. Oh. So that's the only news I had. It's, it's kind of fun that two former GHers I got uh-huh. together. Now, they were also, of course, Port Charles, the group together, all kinds, all kinds of different things. So they kind of, well, no, he was in the Port Charles, was he? Uh, Jonathan's in Port Chuck, but I don't think, I don't know if Steve is. Because yeah. Steve's a comedian. Yeah. So. Um, so hopefully that music stage is good for stand up too. <laughs> yeah. That's funny. Yeah. Where is Rocco? I was talking that. Okay. So we're going to, okay. So this is going to happen now. We're going to open the phone lines for the last, you know, time, the last 20 minutes here. Well, what's going to happen is the first set of phone line stuff is about the trivia question to win the two pictures. And then the, after that, we have to have a winner. Then we'll have the phone lines open for people to make comments or not. Right. So mm-hmm. we're going to do that first. So because we made the 725 followers. We did. Yay. We're a little more right now than that. And we said 913 for the next gift. 913. Remember that? I'll never, I won't forget that. So, we have, so the phone number is 424-253-0749. So uh, we're gonna, when you call in, if we, I have several trivia questions. You're going to call. You're going to answer. You're going to say who you are. You're going to answer the trivia question and make, win the prize. So hopefully you guys will be able to do that. So, um, so if the first person wins, that's it? That's it. <laughs> I, I, I got so I got three oh, interesting no. questions. I got three okay, interesting questions. Okay. So I mean, I mean, it may not be that easy. So right, right? Okay. we'll see what happens. But yes, yeah, so just call in at four two four two five three zero seven four nine. Um, so do we? So while we're waiting for a call, do you guys think that we were having a, that general hospital is getting any better? Is it about the same right now? Is it worse? I mean, what are we thinking I right think now? I think it's still mm-hmm. trucking. Yeah, they're getting there. It's getting pulled out of the mud. A bit. <laughs> yeah, but there was a, uh, a, a article this week with uh, Lynn Herring talking about like, okay. yeah, she's probably not going to be on the show that much because she doesn't really want to just come back unless she has a storyline. She'd come back okay. to do the nurses' ball, but she doesn't want to just come by to do like a scene to be right. like a. Qu- Got it. And and I feel like that just is kind of uh, emblematic of what we're seeing with a lot of the uh, the legacy uh, characters mm-hmm. right there is that. 
they're only like Bobby coming and bringing food. Uh, you know, yeah, Felicia yeah. at uh, you know Patrick and Robin's wedding and not having any lines whatsoever. It's like we're seeing all these talented vets not given things to do, and mm-hmm. you know, it's like they they all are capable of carrying storylines. I mean, mm-hmm. it's certainly, I don't know, I mean, the writers just have a particular vision for the show. Yeah. I mean, I kind of liked it back with the, the former regime because they did a pretty decent job of mixing in old with the new. Yeah. And this one is just, I feel like the, these new, uh, these vets are just really not being utilized as well as they could be. I agree. Yeah, I think they're still trying to figure it out because I've got Robert and Anna. I mean, and, you know, Anna's been kind of front and center, so that's helping and it's pulling. But to me, with that, you can pull in Mac and Felicia a lot more than they have been. Mac has been more utilized, but yeah, like, um, like Lucy and Scott and Kevin, where are yeah, they? Right. Okay, so we have our first person, our first contestant on the GH Report giveaway. Ooh. Who are you and where are you calling from? This is Kimberly from Maryland. Oh, Kimberly hey, from Maryland. All right. Kimberly from Maryland. It's, it's late where you are. Hello? Uh, I said it's late where you are. Thanks for watching yeah. us. 940. 940, yes. I, I, I've, I've done it before. I watched from on the East Coast. I'm like, it's kind of late. So we appreciate you guys out there watching yeah. us from the East Coast. I think she's just eagerly waiting oh, that can question. You, can you hear me? <laughs> she's waiting. She's waiting with bated breath, James. You waiting for the question? Yeah. Okay, okay. You're, you're okay. <laughs> All right. I'll just try to talk to you a little bit. Say hi, because you, you made it through. She won't say anything in Montgomery picture. She's, very, she's, like, yeah. she's like, James, it's late. Get to the question. Yeah, okay. She's got a game face on, James. Don't okay. Shred. Here's the question. Can, is Audrey really Elizabeth's grandmother? Um, yeah, isn't her father a Weber? Her father is a Weber. Mm, I'm going to say yes. Unfortunately, it's actually, it's no. Actually, um, she's actually her step-grandmother. So so Audrey married a Weber. Except Jeff's mother is actually named Helene. But since I have you on the phone, do you have a comment about the the, uh, GH show right now? Any of the storylines? Yeah, my comment is about Sabrina. Although I hate her character and she just makes me sick. But I can't believe they're going to kill another baby of hers. I mean, can't she have a baby? If they're going to keep on the show, at least let her have a baby. Well, I hope the baby stays alive. Yeah, I hope well, it's fine. I hope yeah, it's I mean, fine. I hope it's fine too, because we saw that blood. I hope, I hope she gets to have a baby. I mean, they, I mean, they shouldn't keep killing babies off of her. That's that's bad. Yeah, because the baby wasn't crying when she was asking him what right. was going on. Right. I so. mean. Although I don't like the character. I mean, how many times can he kill this woman's baby? I agree. Yeah, I totally agree cruel. with you. I totally agree with you. Well, thank you, for Kimberly, for watching from Maryland, and, and, we'll, and we'll talk to you next time. Okay. Thank Bye. you. Thank you, Kimberly. Bye. Okay, so our next our next uh, person, um, you are on the GH Giver Report giveaway. Who is this? Okay, um, if you're watching on the laptop or something, turn it down so you can actually, we can hear you. And who, and who are you? And where are you coming from? Hello. Hi, it's Carolyn from Connecticut. Hey, hey, okay, okay, okay. Hey, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Miss Carolyn. How are you? Good. How are all of you? Pretty good. Mm-hmm. Okay, so you ready for the trivia question, girl? Oh, you, uh, I thought someone had answered it already. No, nope, they okay, didn't. Sure. No. It's, a, it's, a different tri- it's a different trivia question, so I don't ask the same ones twice. Okay. <laughs> Here's one for you. Who are Jason Morgan's siblings, dead and alive? Okay, um, AJ, Quartermain. Okay. Um, oh, this is not easy. Of yeah. course, I'm not giving this, give this stuff away for free. I mean, it's for free, but not easy. Of course not. <laughs> <laughs> I like that you're laughing. I love that. Our last caller was serious. I'm glad I like that you're laughing. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I tell you what, the reason I'm laughing is because I wasn't even thinking about doing it. I'm just calling it just to comment on what I'm saying. <laughs> well, then, well, then do you just want to comment? I mean, do you, do you know it or not? I mean, you just comment, obviously. You want to comment? No, no, no. Give me just. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Now we need okay. a timer. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You know, they could be looking our up show, some yeah. stuff. Our show will be over yeah. shortly. <laughs> So he also had, he also had, the only other ones I know that I recall are there was Emily. Yes. Mm-hmm. Quartermain so and that? Sky. Yes, it is that's Sky. all I remember. Okay, that's your final answer. Yes. Okay, incorrect. You're close. Also, oh, okay. you're close because oh, wow. uh, because also his adopted, I mean, his uh, stepsister was Dawn. Monica had yeah. a kid. 
Oh, that's a long time ago. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Because exactly, exactly. it was but Sharon some, Case. But some folks, you know, some folks know it, though. So it's like, it's like, it's like I thought yeah. you remember the fans, like they know all the stuff. So now make your comment, because obviously we have to go to things, but make your comment about, uh, you said you had a comment about who again? Oh, I, th- what I was going to do is I was going to say, you know, it was really funny, because like last week I was talking about Sunday constantly confusing me, and again this week, it's like Sunday is like back and forth. It was cracking me up. And the other thing is I sort of feel like the show is, it's like I'm so interested in some of the stories right mm-hmm, now. Mm-hmm. And then on the flip side, there are some that I just can't believe are so annoyingly, I don't know if I would call it dragged out or just yeah. irritating. And mm-hmm. for one of them, I have to say, I love Sherry Belafonte. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, no, yeah, I like her. I like her. Yeah, she's good. I, I cannot stand... <laughs> this with Mayo Lomax. Of course, exactly. We agree. But I, I but I, it's not even just, just the character is just too much of a caricature. Yeah. It, it, it just it didn't ring true, and I know it's a show, but it didn't yeah. even ring like I want to watch this. Right. The only thing good about the whole thing to me was the funny scene in the metro in, in, in the in the restaurant. Yeah. Metro court restaurant. Yeah. That that was. That was funny. Yeah. But besides that, the whole thing just was like, you know, kind of like nails on a blackboard. Yeah. yeah I, understand. I can understand. Which means and, and, so, and, so much she's doing her job, you know, I guess. And then there were some scenes that are so great. I mean, like Epiphany and Sunny. Wow, that was amazing. Yes. Sunny and Julian. That was amazing. Mm-hmm. And that's just how I was feeling that the show was very back and forth with either the really great or the really awful. Which, you know, as you've been a long time soap watcher, you know that always happens, of course, doesn't it? Like, sometimes they'll get it right in all yeah. cylinders, and then sometimes you're like, oh, really? Mm-hmm. Like, some are good and some are, and some are bad. Dang it. But, of course, I'm going to watch it. You know, I'm never going to stop. Same here. <laughs> of, course. <laughs> of course. Well, thank you, Miss Carolyn, for calling, and we'll talk to you next time, of course. Yeah, bye, Carolyn. Bye, Carolyn. Oh, of course. Bye-bye. Yeah. Bye. Take care, everybody. Bye. bye. Lady was happy, though. We're giving a couple shout-outs. Yes, oh, yeah. I know. Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> Carolyn is <laughs> loving the sun and stuff. Yeah. Okay. So, we have, I think we have another phone call. You're on the GH Report giveaway. Who are you? Where are you calling from? Oh, hey, everybody. It's Jamel from Brooklyn. Jamel hey. from Brooklyn. Okay. Well, the, 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 the prize is still up for grabs. So are you ready to answer a trivia question? I'll try. Okay. <laughs> well, it's, it's interesting that you're calling to this. Okay. Can you name an interracial couple that was on GH in the past? Oh, I think it was um, Jason and Keisha. Mm-hmm. That's a good one. Well, so, okay. Well, good. Okay. You All win. right. <laughs> You are uh, you win. Oh my God! Okay, because other ones were Dr. Tom Hardy and Simone, Marcus Taggart yeah. and Hannah. I mean, there's Lion Ethan. Lion yeah, Ethan. So, yeah, so there's some. But that's yeah. good. I, I almost forgot about Jason and, and, and Keisha. And, 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 and also, I love Taggart and Hannah too. You know, yes. before she yeah. left the show. Yeah, you know, they were. Yes, 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 yes. So you win the prize. You get you get to have okay. you get to have mm-hmm. two headshots. One from Robert Palmer Watkins and from Mr. Anthony Montgomery. Um, oh, so what you need, what you need, so what you need to do is I know what you need to do is send uh, I don't I don't know how you know us if you know us on Twitter or on Facebook send us a private message with I need your address I can send it to you. Okay, I'll give you my address. Okay, I'll send it to you. I won't come stalk you or anything. But like, listen, my grandma oh, may stalk you. I may stalk you. Like, <laughs> Like a organize your place while he's there too. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So no, I was that happy I got through because I've been wanting to call in because I've been watching the show. And the first off, I want to give a shout out to Miss Nadine. She giving me Diana Ross and Mr. Paul. Yeah. Hey, thank you. Oh, but GH, okay. This is my pet peeve. I just got to spit it out real quick. Now, Lulu. And Miss Miss Liz. Now I'm not going to go into mm-hmm. detail about the cat. I'm not going to do it because I, I'm I'm in the minority about these ladies. I love them, but I'm going to give them like um, you know, a little sit down and say, look, if the man don't want you, leave him alone. You mm-hmm. know, when the man is telling you, like I was saying, you know, he didn't give you a time of day. For me, I'd be like, uh, Sam, you know, honey, come over to my house. You can have this man. I don't need him. Right. I mean, mm-hmm. you gotta, come on, you got to have some self respect. Mm-hmm. You can't just sort of sit around and. And take the garbage, you know, because I love the ladies now. And with Lula now, Dante, he just, he was just hit on them, you know, beautiful, drop dead gorgeous, Miss Valerie. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, here, here comes this um, little in the apartment, 
And one, so I'm like, girl, no. He just was hitting on this woman. He ain't feeling you right now. Stop it. Both of y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, come on. Y'all need to sit down and get some self-respect. You see, for me, I, I, I love Kendu. My, well, all well, my children. She was everything. I love when mm-hmm. the woman is, is a real bitch. You know, she's like, I own it. You know, and she, it and, and, and she loves it. And right now, they just sort of whine and look. If the man wants you, get into your oh, I'm, oh, Sky. Yeah, I mentioned Sky too. When when Jax, you know, left up for Brenda, she was she was everything. She got drunk, she cursed everybody out. Deal with it. Mm-hmm. You know, sit around and be talk. I love you know, that. Give, you know, give, give, give it to them. Um, oh, and who else? Who else? I'm loving that Olivia and um, and and uh, Alexis are you know getting yeah. together because mm-hmm. I wanted to call a uh, while ago because I didn't like Alexis being passive aggressive. It's like if the girls come to your house being annoying, then you tell her right there, hold up, you know, stop. You don't sort of play around and give her the eyes every day. And that girl don't understand. She's from Brooklyn, just like me. We don't get hit. We got to be great. Okay? That's Come right. on. That's don't right. Try it. That's right. No. That's so funny. Well, thank you for your comments. That was really good. We're going to take a next phone call, but we, you won the prize. So that's congratulations to you. That's yeah. great. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. And I got a chance to, I got a chance to vent a little bit. You know, yes, that's you did. I know. We know, we, we know. We love when you call in. So I just want to let you know that you did win. So send us, you know, send us your address so I can send it to you, and you'll have that in the mail. I will. Thank you. Thank You're you. Take welcome. care of Brooklyn. <laughs> hey, and we're going to take uh, one more phone call. It looks like if I have enough time. If we have enough time, we can take two if we can get enough time. But, no, okay, just one phone call. One phone call. That's what we're taking. You are the lucky. No, <laughs> no, he said, no. That's our note. <laughs> no, he is. You are the luckiest person to call last for tonight's show. Who are you and where are you calling from? Uh, I'm Lindsay, and I'm calling from Connecticut. Another Connecticut. Hey, oh, my right. God. Mm-hmm. Thanks for staying up late to watch us. Mm-hmm. We appreciate that. Oh my god, I'm so nervous. Oh, Hi. you're fine, girl. You're fine. You're you're just with yeah. us. We're your buddies. Every Sunday, we're your buddies. <laughs> so, what are your comments? What do you want to say? Um, my comment is about Anna and Robert, and okay. I really like right now what they're doing with the storyline, except for the whole Sabrina thing and Carlos. <laughs> but I love that Robert and Anna are back together. Mm-hmm. My favorite f- caller of the day, right there here, yeah. Yeah. right there. <laughs> keep ta- keep talking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well. I was just thinking that um, with the whole Paul kind of liking Anna thing, even though right now he's sleeping with Ava, is because to Paul, he wants to be able to be, you know, Mr. DA and have a good image. And so with Anna, he thinks that if he could be with her, that that would be good for his career. Oh, yeah. I can see that. Oh, yeah. I can see that. It's a good, good smokescreen on some level, too, for him, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I agree with that. So... That, that's that's a good, that was a say. good comment, girl. You yeah, did, look at that. You did great. No need to be great. nervous at all. <laughs> yes. Oh, and because of the fact that Ava and Paul are putting their money into stolen paintings, yes. which Anna used to deal with because she was a friend. Yes, exactly. Mm-hmm. Oh my God! Okay, look at this. Yes, yes. yes. you're good. Yes. Yes. Together. So now next time you call in, you'll be fine. We're your buddies. Mm-hmm. You're yeah. fine. And okay, just keep talking about Anna and Ro- yeah, yeah, Anna and Robert. Me. Sorry, <laughs> that was me. I made a noise. Well, thanks for calling and thanks for watching us every week or whenever you oh, started watching you us. Thank you so much. Thank you and take care. You too. Bye. 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 All right. So that was some good. So that was good. So yeah, my questions aren't super easy, but they're. I mean, they're good for the good questions. If you know, um, you know, you watch General Hospital. So and so now like the next one, the, the actual giveaway, the actual contest will be on our Facebook page. And so you'll answer on the Facebook page once we get to 913. That's the number, remember? 913. 913, 913. And then we'll have the prizes. And we'll have it. So all you guys are on Facebook, you can actually follow that on there. That happened. So I believe we did it. <laughs> we did it, yes. Yeah. We did. Yeah, that has to be like one of those where you can take your notes with you. So yeah. you, it's easy. It'll be easy to answer that's that like, Facebook right. we, did it. Yeah. we did it. Now, mind you, next week, we're going to be on earlier because Super Bowl's next week. And mm-hmm. so we're going to be on at 1.30, I believe. Um, Pacific Standard Time, which is 3 4 30, Pacific Standard, Standard Time, mm-hmm. or whatever. But you know what I mean? It's, we're going to be on earlier. So we'll have the links and stuff, and we'll let you remind you guys next week. The whole soap block will be on earlier next week. So we're going to do that. Okay. And it's also general, and it's also audition days. It's our first year anniversary next week, too. Next week. Woo! So stay tuned for that also. So they started our whole soap block. So we request that. Now, folks, tell them where they can find you, starting with Frank. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter at Happy Go Jackie, and then uh, check me out as I follow in uh, James Lott Jr.'s footsteps here as yes. James Lott Jr. Jr. Yeah. <laughs> here on the After Show with uh, X Files with Lucretia. Yes. Also, Legends of Tomorrow, Hell's Kitchen, Superstore. <laughs> I know, I told you. Like, oh, my word. Angie Tribeca. Oh, my <laughs> goodness. I'm going to take a nap now. <laughs> 
Hi guys, you can find me on Twitter at Ladine underscore Harvey, and you can find me on Snapchat at Hair underscore Niche. <laughs> Where'd you find those earrings? I mean, seriously, where did you find those earrings? They're really cute. Uh, at you the remember? store. Oh, I don't at know. the store. <laughs> at the store. No, they're really cute. They're really cute. Sorry, go ahead. Well, yeah, and um, you could, if you could spell my name right, it's L-A-C-R-E-T-I-A-L-Y-O-N. And since there's only one, find it on all social media, you know, Snapchat, Twitter, whatever else is out there. You'll find it. And on X-Files tomorrow at 11 p.m. E- uh, PST with me and Frank. <laughs> Now, tomorrow I'm on the Shark Tank After Show here on After Buzz TV at 10 p.m. On Wednesday, I'm at the I'm here for the Mysteries of Laura After Show, and at my show Breaking Into on Thursdays here on Black Hollywood Live, our sister network, and the relaunch of my radio show, the Super Organizer Show with James Lodge Jr. on AdrenalineRadio.com. All three have been on my show before. It's going to happen this <laughs> Friday at 10 a.m. It's a super-sized episode, and I have three great guests. Thank you so much for watching us, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye! Bye. From executive producers Maria Menounos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other After shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz you later. The views expressed herein are those of the host only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals. 